All right, what's your favorite smell? Oh, uh, what, what, what? What annoys you the most? Um, everything. <laughs> Biggest fear? Um, you. Me? What, in Brawl Stars? <laughs> favorite brawler? Um, Daryl. <laughs> Pika man, thank you so much for your time, bro, and finally for coming on the channel and, and getting uh, everyone the, the best insight into this brawler, man. We really appreciate your time, bro. Yeah. What is up guys? My name is Ark and my brawls are quite simply the best of them all besides from my very special guest for today, the legend, the man, the bull master. Peek is in the house. How's it going, bro? I'm doing fine. I cannot wait to do this interview. It's been a long time coming, bro. It's been a long time coming. How how long have we been trying to get this together for, man? How long? Oh, <laughs> uh, at least like half a year. <laughs> I know, <laughs> but it couldn't have come at a better time because Peek up. I applaud you, bro. One thousand trophies with Bull this season. Piggy, you've been going back. You've been renowned as being one of the best Bulls in the entire game of Brawl Stars. And finally, you, what was? What, why did you not do it sooner, bro? Why have you only just got to a thousand trophies now? Um, it's just I kept focusing on like school and like my, my actual life instead of Bull. <laughs> <laughs> no, I can understand that. Yeah, fair enough, mate. Fair enough. You wanted to put life in front of Brawl Stars, which I think is a pretty wise decision. And of course, school must come first. But congratulations nonetheless, bro. All right, bro. Well, let's get into your, your top five tips then for anyone pushing Bull, uh, whether they be like low-end trophies or high-end trophies. I'm sure that you'll specify whether it makes a difference. Uh, what's your, your number five tip for someone who wants to push Bull competitively or or just like casually in Brawl Stars? Um, I would say it would be your super because there are many uses for it. Escaping with like stars or gems or just escaping with low health and say showdown or bounty. You can also make really good frontal attacks like leading an attack or just going in for like a direct kill because you cover lots of ground quickly and if you even manage to hit someone it's nice knockback. There's this one strategy I love doing where Someone's at the edge of the map, and obviously you cannot super through the edge of the map. So you super, you land right on top of them, you give them some knockback, some damage, then you blast them a few times and they are dead. I treat my charge as, say, like Piper's attack, where you have to predict where they go, and then you go where they're, where you think they're going to go, and then you get rewarded if you do it properly. Yeah, you've got, you've got to lead your super, which is a really kind of weird thing to say, but yeah, you have to lead your super and, and kind of predict yeah. that. If they're low on health, they're probably going backwards towards their spawn, and therefore you're going to yeah. adjust accordingly for that. Or but say, like, they're going to go for a gem, you super towards the gem, or super where you think they're going to go after they Gem. Yeah, so if they're like the gem carrier, and obviously I know that I've played you many times, so I know what you're thinking is you're thinking I'm gonna go for the gem carrier here, and if they're going towards that gem, which is the most likely alternative, that that's where you're gonna aim your super for sure. What about star power? Oh, star power, it's amazing. I've seen many YouTubers they rank it low, but in my opinion, it is. It really makes bull like usable. Yeah. Because first of all, if you super in onto the safe with your star power, it doubles doubles your DPS, which you just melt that safe. And then um, if you say go into like two people, you get melted quickly. The thing is, you go into star power mode, you go like berserker, you double your damage, which means you can either get a kill or just get more of your supercharge and leave more of a lasting impact on the field. Like if Bull did the half his star power, he would be garbage in my opinion. Like I base I have like really based the way I play on his star power. Yeah, I've watched you a lot in game, as you know, and like I, I do like to watch a lot of the top players and uh, to kind of like get some uh, some little hit, uh, tricks and tips kind of thing. Um, and one thing yeah. I've noticed that you actually do is like when you're going towards the safe, sometimes if you know if you're aware that they are kind of like below you in the map, you'll actually keep firing just to reset your your health uh, uh, regen so that you could keep and maintain your star power, which is something that I don't see anyone else even thinking of doing. Yeah, this also actually implies the Robo Rumble and like the big boss fight where. You stay at star power as Bolt, you can melt the boss or like the big robot much quicker. Moving on then, what's your uh, what's your number four uh, best tip for anyone that's uh, pushing or thinking of pushing Bolt? Be aware of your health because you have the second shortest range in the game. So you have to be able to juke properly and get up close. The thing is, your health is not the highest in the game. So you can, like say Piper, she four shots you. 
Yeah. And、uh, or even maybe three shots. I don't quite remember, but it's not good. So you have to be able to manage your health properly. Because if you get say right next to a Brock and he has all three ammos, you're still gonna kill kill him, but you're gonna be like at two K health. He does high damage. Yeah. So you have to make sure know the interactions of their damage. And make sure you can tank at least three shots to get that kill. Okay, bro. What about your number three tip for、uh, for Bull? You have to、uh, know your proper game moves, which I will list off right now. Heist being number one, gem grab being number two. Then brawl ball, he's okay, but typically he would choose primo unless he really want to push a bull, which I hope you do.、Um, after that, showdown is、uh, it's okay. Like、um, if you can't really find anyone to push with. You can play my most showdown mask, but the three I listed earlier is most ideal. Yeah. Then um, bounty only low level gameplay. You could really push him. After that, if you really want to say like be a good bold, you could try him in bounty, but I would not recommend him. Yeah. So stick to where you know he's strongest, basically, when you are looking at like the higher level of trophies. Yeah. What did you push um it, it, like uh the most when you were using bold to get to a thousand? Was it like a predominantly gem grab? Gem grab. It was gem grab. Was yeah.、It? Yeah. Basically, I started at、um, 700 this season. Then、um, I pushed to 900, for, like 100 of that cups was Bromo. Another 100 was Gem Grab, only Stone Fort because that's an amazing map. Yeah. Then after that, I pushed from 900 to 950 in Heist because for a push one hit, kind of needed to use Heist. And then after that, the last 50 I used、um, Gem Grab Death Cap Cave. Yeah. 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 I mean, it's like it's interesting, isn't it? Like, I don't know how you have the patience, bro. For me, I've not tried pushing a brawl to a thousand because, like,、uh, the matchmaking alone takes like five minutes. So if you're playing like high, it can be over in thirty seconds. And like, and also like,、uh, whether people know, at the home know this or not, if you win a game, you get two trophies towards a thousand minus seven if you lose. It's four four games, which that's okay. The thing is, is the matchmaking that makes a loss so just devastating. Absolutely devastating, because it takes like an hour to recover from one loss. Alright, bro. What is your number two tip? You have to just remember all brawler interactions. Like,、um, not the damage. It's the brawler you face. Like, say Primo. You usually can win because you can outrange him. And if、yeah. you get right on top of him, you three shot him. So you can auto aim him. He's dead, and you get your super as well. Yeah. He he's a direct counter. And、um, someone like Leon, they do the same damage up close. Problem is. Leon shots are really fast,、yeah. so he can actually kill a bull movie one if he plays properly. Yeah, like say someone like Ricochet.、Um, if it's a good Ricochet, it's gonna be tough, and especially if he has star power, he's gonna do that extra damage, and he can reach everywhere with his bounce shots. Yeah, yeah. Someone like Shelly or Spike, they are like the hardest counters. Like, if you face them, it's basically a GG unless you get lucky with like getting close to them. Because Spike, I hate him because he gets like fat. Like three K on you at max range,、yeah. and then、um, someone like Shelly is just the way they work. Shelly has more range than Bold, and she also uses a shotgun, which means she does high damage. Yeah. So if you try to chase a Shelly, she can pick at you until you're low. Then she comes at you, and then she's also then going to get her super, and then she blasts you with her super. Yeah. Like it's really hard to beat a Shelly, especially if you're playing with random people.、Uh, you know,、uh, some some people do. Like you want to be focusing on the brawler which you are able to counter the best. It helps your team out.、So So much. Okay, bro. What is your best best tip for pushing bull? All right, timing your aggression. Now, I, I'm not sure if you know what this means, but basically, you have to know when you can go in because、um, you only have so much health. If you keep going in and feeding, you're going to be useless. Your teammates are going to hate you, kick you from the room or something. So you have to know the perfect moment to either go in or super in, get like maybe a team wipe or something because bull has an insane potential. To get the team wipe if the team is unprepared. You、uh, at max, you like three shot the most tanky brawler in the game. So yeah, if you get them off guard, you can kill two people. Get like say gems or maybe get stars. Then you will likely have another super to super out or save for the next life because um something is like you know how most people usually save bulls super just to escape. Yeah. Usually, unless you have to say at least three gems or like three stars, I would say do not super out. Just die. And then save that super for another frontal attack. 
Yeah, okay. You have to know exactly when to go in. Like, read your opponent's movement, get a good, like, be able to predict where they go, and then when they least expect it, super in, get a really nice team wipe, and you'll win the game. Yeah, it's, it's all about that timing, isn't it? Like, you know, spotting your opportunities. Very similar to Tara yeah. uh, in that respect. You know, like, timing your super and capitalizing on that moment where maybe your gem carry on the opposing team's weak and, like, their support brawler is really weak as well and just going in and just coming straight back out. And also having the ability to, to think that way as well because, like, a lot of people don't uh, prepare themselves for getting their super twice. I mean, I, I, I kind of... I, and it's a great thing that you're able to say this to people as well because I know that you're actually giving away your strategy and I've come across you many times as we discussed this uh, off camera and now I know how you play and I'm, I'm kind of like, right... If I'm playing against Pika, I know what he's going to be doing at this time in the game in Gem Grab. We've got nine gems. He's going to be looking to get my gem carrier. So I'm going to stick with my gem carrier and sort of like give them a big hug. Yeah. <laughs> but what I want to say is like, I want to try to be unpredictable with movement. Like I'm facing, like, I want to say be very predictable. I move in one straight path, like 10 seconds. And I start going really random, the mic will be thrown off guard. You can't always be predictable. You have to be a bit random at times. That's a really solid point as well, to be fair. Uh, because um, Bo's hitbox is massive. It's like, he's a big boy. But <laughs> yeah. Yeah, okay. <laughs> yeah. Um, but he has like fast speed. He, he's like third fastest brawler in the game next to the other tanks. Yeah. So it yeah. helps with juking. Pika, man, that's really solid tips, bro. I think that's going to really help a lot of my subscribers and viewers. Um, absolutely solid, solid tips there, bro. We're going to do something a bit fun. Uh, we always do this at the end of our videos. Uh, you guys got any ideas for questions that we can ask the next pro player? Uh, write them in the comments below. Uh, so straight off the bat, Pika's got no idea what I'm going to ask him. Uh, it's going to be spontaneous, quick fire, um, and we're going to move on quickly to the next question. So are you ready, Pika? Yes, I am. All right, what's your favorite smell? Oh, uh, what, what, what? Um, <laughs> I know. Chocolate. chocolate. <laughs> That's why it's supposed to be random. <laughs> okay, okay, go on. Okay, too hot or too cold? Um, too cold. What annoys you the most? Um, everything. <laughs> <laughs> All, right. All right, biggest fear? Um, you. Me? What, in Brawl Stars? <laughs> <laughs> no, your face. <laughs> <laughs> okay, how do you like your steaks cooked or are you a vegetarian? Uh, I, I just have a steak. You gotta decide whether it's medium raw, like I get rare. medium. Medium? Fair enough. What job would you be terrible at? Um, all of them. <laughs> You're just not cut out for work. <laughs> <laughs> Brawl stars for life. Uh, describe yourself in three words. Good at ball. Favorite brawler? Um, Daryl. <laughs> Please tell ball. me a joke. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> All right, least favorite brawler. Everything but ball. Fair enough. You you are one trick wonder then. Is that what you're saying? <laughs> oh, come on. <laughs> Thoughts on auto aim in one word. Depressing. <laughs> brawler is most in need of a buff. I would say ball, but uh, you're biased. Piper. 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 Really? Kind of. She she. I wish she could actually. Mortis needs like something. Fair enough. Moving on. Brawler most in need of a nerf. Leon. I think the majority will be saying the same thing, bro. And do skins really equal wins? Um, only Viking Bowl. But that's a yes, yeah? Yeah, only Viking Bowl, though. Good answer! <laughs> <laughs> Pika, man. Uh, anyone you want to shout out? Any projects, social medias? Anyone you want to thank for pushing? Uh, any shout outs at all? I really love to thank Sky and Olive Oil. They helped me get 1,000 4 a.m. in the morning, and I am so happy they helped me. Yeah, they're good guys, man. Sky, especially, we got to like insane level eight in uh, in boss fight a few weeks back. Yeah, so. he's he's a good guy. Yeah. Um, then um, this good cult called Just Insane. He he's a good cult. That's what I'm gonna say. Oh yeah, absolutely, man. I like to shout out my uh, friend's YouTube channel, Tido JLG. Absolutely, bro. No problem at all. I'll leave that down in the description. Final thing, I got Twitter. So. Yeah, bro, I'll leave that in the description as well for sure, guys. Check it out. It'll be all down below. Um, there's this really good bull. His name is Axel. Like, if you face him, just keep in mind, he will just bulldoze you. He will destroy you. I've heard of that guy, actually. Someone to be aware of, right? He's a pretty good. Yeah. He's probably beaten you a few times. I don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> Pika, bro. Thank you so much for your time. Your tips have been really solid. I think it's going to really help everyone out that's watching. I hope they do. Yeah, man, I think that's some really solid tips, bro. Uh, what's your next goal in the game? What have you got planned? Have you 2,000 trophies? I mean, when's it going to happen, bro? Um, 10,000 bowl copper. <laughs> 
Is it, are you just looking to do ball or maybe look at Daryl next? I know the real Canadian's looking at Daryl at the moment, so. Oh no, I'm, I'm thinking of no longer being a one player. Oh really? Getting get the big 12k maybe, 13k. Yeah, bro, go for it. You definitely got it in you, bro. You think like a pro, uh, you know, regardless to having like ballers being like, you know, your number one uh, brawler. Uh, I think you're... Ball is best, boy. Ball is best. You heard it, bros. <laughs> Ball is best. Thanks a lot for your time, bro. Uh, we really, really appreciate it, man. Yeah, I was glad being on your channel. You're welcome back anytime, my friend. Anytime. That's nice. Guys, if you enjoyed the video, head on down to the like button, grab it, smash it, and while you're at it, subscribe for more future content. We're going to have tons of these top five tips from pro players in this series coming soon. Uh, so if you want to make sure that you're the first to watch, make sure you click the notification bell and turn those notifications on. Until next time, keep calm, game on, but most importantly, keep your brawls epic.